Almost one hour into my photo shoot, I'm finally now at the second location. Usually that would have been a 47 minute walk, but we did that in 15 minutes. There's my tram! Come on, no! Tonight we've got four different photo locations and me and Mike have to both go to each location, take a photo, but we have to spend 10 minutes at each spot, no longer or no less. So it's like an even amount of time because tonight we're going to see the difference between walking to these photo locations versus riding the electric scooter. So three, two, one, go, boom, start. It's going to get pretty wet, but I'd rather be wet than having to walk. Well, fuck. That scooter is fast, which is bullshit because I have to be a pedestrian the whole fucking time. Actually, maybe I can catch public transport. They didn't say I couldn't do that. First spot here. The shot that I want to get is these two trains here. Oh, I want to get at least one train here. Then we have the leading lines of the city in the background. Let's start the timer for 10 minutes. Oh, I think that's pretty much that shot done. I still have to spend 10 minutes here though. First mod here took me 7 minutes and 41 seconds to get here. I don't know how long it's going to take Mike. It's been 10 and a half minutes since I left the car. Like I'm not even at the photo location. Like Liam's probably already there. He's probably already started taking photos. I've got to wait for a tram, jump on the tram, and then take it over to Jollymont. All right, that is 10 minutes up at this spot. Let's go to the next one. Well, I kind of fucked up. The tram was supposed to go straight, but instead I got on the wrong tram and it took me to the second location we're supposed to be at. So I wouldn't be surprised if I actually bump into Liam here. This shot here is just another looking over the city. We have the train line once again, and this one's a bit more of an opened up shot. I'm gonna get my tripod out for this one. There he is. I fucking see him. Oi, what are you doing? You cheating. No, I haven't even gone to the first spot. I got on the wrong tram. I was gonna say, dude, there's no way. <laughs> see you, bro. See ya. Bro, he's like two minutes into his second spot. I haven't even got to my first spot yet. Oh shit, I literally just missed the tram. We've got four more minutes left. I reckon we can get at least one shot. If a train doesn't come though, the shot's just not gonna be as good. I think I'm finally here, first location. It's a really nice shot of the city actually from here and you get the train line like smack bang in the middle. So I'm gonna try and wait within my 10 minutes, see if any trains rock up. Almost one hour into my photo shoot, I'm finally now at the second location. I'm happy Liam picked this spot actually, it's such a good shot of the city. Usually that would have been a 47 minute walk, but we did that in 15 minutes on the scooter. And it was so much fun coming here. So I was hoping that there would be some reflections around here, but it's all dried up. So I've got my water bottle and hopefully we'll be able to get a reflection shot of all this white architecture here. Cause it looks really sick. Time to go. There's my tram. Come on, no. Don't fucking leave me. I've never fucking raced the tram before. Right. On to the third spot. You reckon that will get girls taking off a helmet? I think you'd ride a motorbike and then you pull up on an electric scooter. This is probably my favorite location of the night. It's this really nice reflection shot of the city. So far, no signs of Mike anywhere. <laughs> All right, 
Here we are, third spot. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't hate Liam that much because he did actually organize it so I can catch a tram to every single spot. Isn't that nice? Or maybe it was an accident, I don't know. Almost an hour and a half into this photo shoot and I've still got one more location after this. <laughs> Alright, that's me done. Seven o'clock, so exactly one and a half hours. Let's give Mike a call. I'm at the last spot, where are you? I got to Webridge about five minutes ago. I'm just finishing up my shot. It's not, not too far behind. See ya. Time for the next spot. Last spot, baby. Home stretch. Let's see if I can scare Liam. Fuck, you got me. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's like saturated with yeah, shit. Yeah, I know. Are you allowed to ride this thing in the rain? Like, it's, it's cool. Oh, shit. I actually didn't check. Say so <laughs> you were here for 10 minutes, so that's 7.40. I finished at 7. <laughs> yeah. I know you're down for ramen, but are you down for ramen? Mate, I was down for ramen before you even mentioned being down for ramen. So oh, I'm no, fucking no, down. Yeah. Are you down for ramen? Well, I'm drinking a little bit of ramen. Oh, yeah. Obviously a scooter is going to be a lot faster than walking, but in today's instance, it was 40 minutes faster, but I also had to film this vlog and that got in the way of just the whole process of going out on a photo shoot. If I was just to do a photo shoot, a scooter is so helpful and that's why today I've teamed up with Scooter Hut and they've sort of, they've sponsored this video, but they haven't paid me to talk about their scooter or anything. They've just given me the scooter in exchange for me to do this video. And if you don't have a license or you're underage and you can't get your license, electric scooters is a really good alternative to driving. I just figured out that you're actually not meant to ride those scooters in the rain. So if you do end up buying one, just don't ride them in the rain. They are electric, so I probably should have thought of that. But I know I say don't think, just do it at the end of my videos, but sometimes maybe I should think. <laughs> sometimes. Only a little bit. Un poquito. So the scooter that I used today was the Carbu Mantis Pro, which is a dual motor scooter. So it means that not only the front wheel moves, but both wheels move at the same time. So there's two motors that are just powering you along. It's like a jet. You feel like you're actually on a jet. It doesn't look that fast, but when you're on it, it's like, holy shit. Like you got to really hold on, but they're super fun. If you're like, if you're looking for a scooter that is super powerful and a lot of fun to ride, I definitely recommend that one. If you're interested in grabbing an electric scooter, I'll leave a link down below to the Scooter Hut website. And if you use my code, seventh era, you'll get 10% off your scooter. If you live in Australia, because of the batteries and whatever, I don't know, they can't ship it outside of Australia. So if you live in Australia and you're thinking of getting an electric scooter, go through that link down below, use the code and you'll shave off time off your photo shoots for sure. And you'll have a lot of fun riding them around. Anyways, moving on to the photos. My shot here from the first spot. Now keep in mind, all of my photos were shot on the Sigma 35 millimeter. So here it's quite wide. The city's quite far away but I'm still happy with how the shot turned out. But then when you look at Mike's photo from this one, Jesus Christ, like it's just 10 times better. Mike ended up shooting it from the bridge further back. So there was one bridge that was about 50 meters back from where I shot it from. And he used the 85 mil. So there was a lot more compression, which meant that the city looked a lot bigger. And I really love this shot. Like good work, bro. Like really good work. I love it. Next spot here, I managed to get the light trail of the train, which I really like where it's positioned. Mike ended up shooting this second one landscape for some reason. Kind of looks cool still as well. Third spot is the web bridge. And I tried to do that reflection shot, but I didn't have enough water and it didn't really create a puddle. Like when I poured the water on, it just sort of like absorbed into the concrete. Mike did something interesting for this shot. Instead of shooting inside of it, he actually shot the whole bridge from afar with a wide angle lens. So I really like the way you did this as well. And because it started raining, you have all these water droplets which add depth into the image as well. 
and can also help fill up that negative space. Thanks to Scooter Hut for sponsoring the video and giving me that scooter. I'm gonna have so much fun on it and I'm keen to ride it around just in general and on photo shoots. If you're looking to get a scooter, once again, links in the description, that would help me out as well. Shout out to Mike as well for walking around. Thanks bro, I appreciate it. Maybe next time I can walk and you can ride the electric scooter. But yeah, that's all for today's video. If you did like it, leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe. And as always, don't think, just do. Have a look at my tripod. It's fully extended at the bottom there. It's just like, oh. <laughs> you know what they say? Ramen a day keeps the doctor away. My serving up every single plate. The hottest in the season, even summer looks away. Cause I got something to prove. I'm here cause I pay my dues. So please tell me something new. I'm in the...